Starting a new novel can be daunting, especially when you're faced with hundreds of pages that stack up to be several inches. And there's nothing exactly like the bittersweet feeling of finishing a good one. Bitter because you say goodbye to all the friends you made between the book covers, but sweet because of that sense of accomplishment, and there's usually some resolve and conclusion to the story. But there are some works so lengthy that you may never even want to start them. The longest work of literature ever published in one volume is Zettel's Traum by West German author Arno Schmidt. This massive German novel has an estimated word count of 1.1 million. Modern editions are properly typeset, bringing the page total to 1,536, and they weigh over 13 pounds. The title translates to Bottom's Dream in English, which is a play off of a character from Shakespeare's A Midsummer's Night Dream, Nick Bottom. The story is about main characters Dan, Paul, Wilma, and Franziska, discussing some of the problems of translating Edgar Allan Poe into German and exploring the themes he conveys. Author Schmidt is considered a giant of post-war German literature, and one critic reviewed Zettel's Traum as a treasure house of post-Joycean language games, the projection of a complex and crotchety personality, a unique blend of fiction, conversation pieces, and literary criticism, humorous and obsessed, intellectually adventurous and stuffily provincial, polyglot and archetypically German. Now the average adult reading rate is about 300 words per minute. So to help visualize the sheer length of Zettel's Traum, it would take the average adult just over 61 hours of pure reading time to finish the whole novel. The longest complete work of literature is titled Devta by author Mohoyden Nawab. Devta is a fantasy thriller novel which was continually published over 33 years. It spans 56 volumes and comprises over 11.2 million words. Nawab authored Devta from 1977 to 2010 in Urdu. There is currently no English translation, but the volumes are digitized online. The title translates to God or Earthly God in the Hindu religion. Devta is written as a fictional autobiography of Farhad Ali Taimur, who begins the story as a teenage boy living in the outskirts of Lahore, Pakistan. He gains amazing mind control powers through telepathy and is recruited by an underground spy agency by the name of Supermaster Group. Supermaster Group, led by Supermaster, controls the American military, government, and elite but works for American interests worldwide. At 300 words per minute, it would take the average reader over 622 hours of continuous reading to finish this behemoth. That's almost 26 days. Imagine reading for the entire month of February with no breaks to sleep or eat. That's approximately how long reading Devta would take. But there are still some absurdly long works of literature that are still underway currently being released in sets of chapters or volumes, these works are already record-setting. One of the longest English works of literature takes an unconventional form. It's titled The Subspace Emissary's World's Conquest, and is a Super Smash Brothers fan fiction. It currently sits at 221 chapters and over 4.1 million words, but is added to continually. The author, who writes by the name Aurora Chandler Chris, first published to fanfiction.net in 2008, but his latest update to it was in 2018. He said it's hard to tell when he'll be finished, but he's had nightmares that the final work will reach 400 chapters and 10 million words. Since the fanfic is so long, giving a concise synopsis almost shortchanges it. But the short of it is that there are many worlds separated from the real world. The antagonist, Taboo, wants to take over these worlds, but Master Hand assembles a team from across these worlds consisting of Super Smash Bros. characters, and the original character, Chris, to oppose Taboo. In the story of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Taboo is defeated, but Chris's fanfic explores the what-if scenario, in which they fail to defeat Taboo. Interestingly, Chris claims he started writing this as a way to learn English, a 
originally a Spanish speaker from Mexico, Chris moved to the United States in 2008. He had already begun learning English through video games, but writing this book helped develop his English even further until he was on level with native U.S. citizens. At 300 words per minute, it would take the average reader 228 hours of pure reading time to read what's finished of the subspace emissary world's conquest. That's roughly 9.5 full days. Upon finishing, this could prove to be the longest work of literature ever written. But as it stands, it does not hold that title yet. The longest work of literature ever written is referred to as Mary and Bad, My Love. The full title is nearly 7,000 words long, and so this novel is almost always referred to in its abbreviated version. This enormous tale comprises 17 published volumes and 17.8 million words. The story is strange to say the least. It follows a filmmaker who believes he's God and creates a sci-fi movie in order to end the world. Some of the plot devices include a giant orbiting UFO, alien abductions, human-alien hybrids, Nazi-alien collaborations, mind control, and religious insects from outer space. Along with being the longest ever work by word count, the book includes the longest title, longest English word at 4.4 million characters, and longest sentence at 3 million words. Volume 17 was published in 2013, but Mark Leach, the author, is still adding to this record-setting novel. Reading at 300 words per minute, it would take the average adult 991 hours, or 41 days, of continuous reading to complete what's published of Mary and Bad, My Love. That's over 11% of an entire year of pure, continuous reading. And Leach isn't even finished with the novel. There are other published works that reach millions and millions of words, and would place in between some of these. But in the interest of time, the four covered in this video are some of the most notable. What's the longest literary work you've ever read? Let me know in the comments. This is Fake Life Lore. Thanks for watching.